Yeah, the role of CTO of UK government is based around uh, helping departments get ready and move to the digital services and move away from the really costly uh, IT services that we've had in the past. So a lot of it at the moment is about education and building capability, um, providing common services to government and then also helping departments move from um, the large uh, projects they've had and actually provide them with expertise and um, key people to help them uh, deliver services more effectively. Everything we do is based on the user need. So the key thing to determine is what is the user need as you design a system and a new designer service. And if you build services around the user, you discover they work more effectively, more people use the online service because you've built it to be digital by default. And that means the cost of delivering the service and also the cost of helping people go onto it is, is lower and the cost of government therefore becomes lower. So it's fundamentally, it's about a design process of designing the services we have around the user. Well, shared services in government is, uh, we've got two main areas of that. Number one is shared services like uh, enterprise resource planning. And part of that, that's a team we have which helps us move to a common service provision of two main service providers for that within government. And we've got a couple of exceptions for departments that need to have it for obvious security reasons. But everybody else essentially will start and is starting the migration towards the common service delivery of shared services across government. And that's starting to, to bite in now and, and, and really work. And it's one of the, those key collaborative services. The next thing we're looking at, we've got a great public service network, the PSM, which is a common secure network across government. The next service to do in that space is going to look at desktop and also look at common infrastructure. At the moment, we spend an enormous amount of money on common infrastructure, about two billion pounds a year on hosting. And we need to reduce that figure. Um, and we feel we can reduce that figure by the effective use of sharing services across government. And that's the next stage. A digital is at the center of everything. We're, we're building a digital government based on user needs. So everything we do is based on digital. And um, everything we design and we put together is based around the needs of our users. And so digital and is it an impact on us? It's not an impact on us. It, it is everything that we're doing. It's so, previously in government, what people have done is put together a system, you design, you have a policy, you run a design program, you then create a system, you pull a lever, and on one day you launch a system, and then you spend, it's never gonna be perfect. And it then costs us an enormous amount of money to keep changing the system, and the change control actually drives all of the costs. So over time, the cost per transaction for a government service goes up. What we're doing is designing services to change so they can keep up with technology. One of the debates we've been having here is about whether we use apps or not. And one thing is, we generally, we, we don't use apps. Um, we design our services to be open and um, that's one of the key components of our design process is that they can work on any device and so we're not locking ourselves into anything at that point. It means it costs less to maintain, we don't have to maintain huge different sets of code but also it means that what we're doing is based around users and based around what they use and so um, the use of digital services is really able to keep up because we've designed everything to change and that's the important component. Well, a lot of our, a lot of our change in uh, the role of the CIO, CTO base is around the fact that a lot of our, we're really looking to have a chief operating officer, a chief digital officer, and serving those is the chief technology officer who's there to provide the technology and the tools to help drive the digital transformation within government and within business, and the businesses that we run. And so that's the role of technology leaders in government. And we're shortly publishing, actually, a paper on digital leadership and technology leadership, which will demonstrate exactly how we're, we're putting that forward. But it is essentially around having technology leaders who can then um, provide the services for digital to introduce digital to government. So two big things we've learned from digital at this conference. Number one is that um, the uh, DHS here in Australia fantastic to learn what they're doing building again government services fundamentally based around the user need it means that they're delivering services that are relevant to citizens and it's been fantastic to come to this to come to this conference and actually see somebody doing things 
in many ways better than what we're doing, which has been really important to see. And the passion and commitment of um, the guys in their department was really a, a, something I'm going to take home with me. Um, the other component here is to see where other organisations want to come and learn about some, some of the things we've done. We want to learn about what they've been doing. So the ability to come and talk to people about specific themes. I've just spent some really good time with guys talking about exit checks and immigration, which is something Australia is really, really good at. It's a great opportunity to come and do that and to come and learn from people. So it's a good exchange.